Right, Shalom, hopeful elect of Israel. First and foremost, Kal Halal Yim La Yahweh, Bahasham Hamashayak, Yahweh Shai, Wa Baha Urcha Kodash. Double honor to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit. Enough respect to the brothers pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth. And Adwan Ratazah, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, um, I'm just going to touch on this precept, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in the book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 21. Okay. And it reads, The fear of the Lord Yahweh. Bahasham Yahawashai driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Okay? You know, when you truly fear the Lord, you know, you consider your ways, you know, you try to abstain from sin and all manner of evil. Okay? And if you don't fear the Lord, well, you know, you're going to commit wickedness, you know, like the two thirds in Babylon the Great. Okay? You know, for them, sin is their refuge. Okay, that's what they cleave to. Alright. Now of course, you know, we who call ourselves a hopeful elect, you know, we we go off, we're not perfect. We do sin. Okay. Us as believers we do sin, of course. You know? In fact I want to get a precept. Uh this is Proverbs twenty four. Verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times, you know, and seven gone into completion, you know, and rise up, riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Okay. So, you know, we're in this flesh, we're, all, we're not gonna, you know, we will sin. Okay. Of course, we're not perfect. Alright. This flesh is programmed to sin, to go off. However, the Spirit of the Lord is with us and upon us to fight this daily battle. Okay? This wickedness in this flesh. You know, we're not going to win every every battle. But guess what? Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh got us. You know, through his shedding of his blood. You know, through his sacrifice. So we the hopeful elect. You know, we fear the Lord and constantly repent to stay away from sin as much as possible. Okay, because if we commit sin willingly, then the Most High, you know, He has severe punishment in store for us, which will lead to death, because the wages of sin is death. Okay, so it's a wise thing to fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's get another precept. Uh, same book, but chapter 9, so Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding okay and that's the beginning of wisdom to fear the Lord okay you know and the majority of our people are just the spiritually dead <laughs> okay follow the ways of this world trust in the ways of this world, the trust in Esau's kingdom, right, your so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans as well as the Israelites scattered across the world who may look like the other nations but who are in fact Israelites because their <coughs> their seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob through their fathers, okay you are the children of Israel and only salvation is for you okay now as an example you know, of giving in to sin. It's like, for example, you might have a woman who might want to have coitus, <laughs> look that word up, okay, on the Sabbath, you know, and if you fear the Heavenly Father, okay, and His Son, you would drive away that urge to give in to that lustful temptation, okay. If you truly fear Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? That's what you do. But if you don't fear the Lord, you'll end up having quietness with your woman on the Sabbath. Okay? You will have given into that flesh. Alright? Then the next thing you know, you'll be putting that woman above the fear of the Most High. Okay? And we see it all through the scriptures. You know, women have caused men to abandon the fear of the Lord. And we've seen it. 
over and over again. You know, she can be a distraction to you and, you know, hinder your faith and may eventually call you to, to leave, leave this truth. Okay, that's why the fear of the Lord should be priority number one in your life. Okay, and having that fear refrains you from a lot of stuff, man. You know, it's good to do so, so that you can grow in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and focus on his wisdom and knowledge. Okay, it helps keep the sound in the mind. All right, it's the best thing you can do in this so-called life that we have. Because really, we're not even living. We're just surviving, you know, getting our daily bread. But the best thing is to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and keep his laws, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. All right. So, yeah, Lord willing, I just wanted to, you know, touch on that precept. Okay. We'll get it again, actually. So, Book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 21. Right. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Okay. So Lord willing, you know, you get the point. Just wanted to, you know, bring that out. And just remember to attempt to abstain from wickedness. Okay? So, double honour to the apostles of Great Millstone. Pray that this lesson was edifying. You know, pray for one another. Pray for the apostles, the elders. Alright, fast. Okay? And may the blessing of election be upon your household. So in closing, I'd like to give all praise and all glory and all honour to Yahweh, Bahasham, Hamashayak, Yahweh Shai, Wa Baha, Rachakwadash, Shalawam, Shalawam to the elect.